Hello everyone. Okay, let's get to this. This video is part one of a two-part series all about splits. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to properly warm up for your splits. This is a pretty quick, effective warm up to warm up the muscles of your inner thighs, your hamstrings, your quads, and your hip flexors. All the muscles necessary to stretch for your middle splits, your front left splits, and your front right splits. So we're going to do all of that in this video and then head over to part two for a slower, deeper stretch that's actually going to make sure that you're improving and working towards your splits. And again, that's middle splits and front splits. Warming up for your splits is incredibly important because splits are an intense stretch and an advanced posture. So you want to make sure that your muscles are warm and ready to go. So let's get to it. And before we jump into this video, if you like my videos, give this one a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your post notifications if you like me to remind you to stretch all the time. Let's get to it. All right, so the first posture is a deep Cossack lunge. So you're going to begin with your legs wide. Give your knees a skin to drop side to side. When you're doing this, all your weight should be in your heels. You can keep a little bit in your fingertips just for stability, but you should really be pressing your hips back so that you're working the backside of your legs. Side to side. And you're gonna start out with your hips high and as you feel that your legs are beginning to warm up, you can take it lower side to side. So we're gonna stay here for 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now come all the way over to one side and see how low you can get. If you can keep your weight in your heel and sit all the way back, you can come right here, use your elbow to help press your knee out to the side and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Then come all the way up to the center, settle into the same depth on the other side. Use your elbow and hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Once you're here, stay as low as you can, switch side to side. Right here for 12, 11, and your legs are going to start to burn. That's good. That's the point of the warm up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and last one. Return to your wide legged forward, forward fold, hips high, head low. This next posture we're moving through very classy name, I call them butt drops. You're gonna keep your weight in your heel, drop your butt down, and then lift it right back up, just like that, 10 times. 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and on that last one, keep your hips low, elbows to your knees, hold here. Count to five, four, three, two, and one. Return to your wide-legged forward fold. Take a deep breath in, let it go. Next posture here is a lunge, so come on over to one side. Both hands are going to be in the middle with your foot out to the side. So ham, ham, 
foot out to the side. Right when you're here, you're going to pulse down 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop that back knee. Untuck your toe or keep it tucked, whatever feels better on that knee. Now bring the knee right back into center so it's hand, foot, hand. Rock back and forward. And this is one of the best stretches you can do to prepare for your front split. So as you're rocking back, you're stretching the back of that front leg, you're hamstring your calf. And as you're rocking forward, you're stretching the front of the back leg, your quad and your hip flexor. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. Four, three, two, and you'll come all the way through center. We're going to switch sides. Again, foot on the outside of the hand, begin to pulse down 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the back knee. And if you guys have been wondering, this is why I have a knee pad on this knee, because this knee is a little bit sensitive, so I like to have some extra cushion on it. So if that's you too, knee pads are amazing. Once you're here, begin to rock and forward. And I'll start counting 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. Return to your wide-legged forward fold. Hold here. Take a deep breath in and out. Let yourself collapse. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, team, now we're down on hands and knees. Going to begin warming up into the hip rotators a little bit more. So your weight will come onto one knee, and the other one will pull into your chest as you draw a large circle up, back, and around. Ten, nine, keep your abs engaged. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now switch directions. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, switch directions. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Both knees down. Bring your knees just to the edge of your mat to sit back for a child's pose. And then just come up onto your elbows. Keep it active, press into your hands, keep pressing your hips back. Five, four, three, two, and one.
One more stretch on each side. It's an active pigeon stretch. So pick a leg up to come forward. And as you come forward, make sure that you're engaging your abs, you're squeezing your glutes and your inner thighs together so that you're lifting up. This way you're actually warming your muscles. Hands up, hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and stretch. Take a twist towards the front thigh. And release, switch side. Engage, 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 lift up, abs engage, glutes and thigh. Hold. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and stretch. And again, you can take a twist towards that front thigh, hold. And release, return to a comfortable seat. Hands are heart center. Take a deep breath in, reach up. And exhale all the way back down. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Hopefully you followed along and you're ready to jump into your splits. So I will link the next video part two below and on screen right here so that now you can get into the real deep splits work. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Namaste.